Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I already started this spread um, and then I had a, a dog who needed to go out and there was a lot of chaos. So I'm just starting over since I was right at the beginning. This is a love reading. It's a general, it's for the collective. So take what, take what resonates and leave the rest. So far in the past, you collective was, you were in the energy of trapped in fear. So I got this, I've got this real feeling like a, a mental prison stuck um, in, in fearful thoughts. And I'm getting that it's because of feeling abandoned a feeling like someone abandoned you and amazing, like um, a, a disappointment on, on a, a massive scale. Um, there was something um, worry about your finances and possibly even the abandonment was around finances. Um, whatever it, it put you in, in this really fearful place, it made you feel, uh, again, financial loss, um, put you in, uh, you might've even in the past had, um, an illness or injury. And uh, while this was happening, you felt very out in the cold and isolated and insecure. Yeah, this is a breakup. This is a breakup. Be um, wow. It, it looks like it started with um, poor communication and disharmony. It, it feels like you and this person, um, your energies just went in different directions. Um, I get the feeling that the person, either you or this person who you broke up with was, um, real controlling with their the finances very frugal um not enough it's just a controlling it's my money kind of feeling and there was just so much frustration because um it it's like it took forever to get to this point and then it happened really fast and created like this, this panic in you. In present time collective, you are in the energy of patience. You have found balance. This is the temperance card. You are starting to grow. Wow, this is such an amazing shift from whatever went on in the past and this breakup and how you were feeling then compared to where you are now you're wow you found balance you are collaborating and building something with people around you um it's interesting because it now when challenges come up you maintain control you it would be really hard to get you into this um trapped in fear space now because uh, there's something about you um a strength that you have um a confidence that you can take care of any challenges that come your way oh nice lovers so you also 
you are re- it, the healing that you've done between the breakup and where you are now is amazing. It looks like you're ready for love and harmony and a partnership. Someone that you can explore your sexuality with. Wow, that feels really fantastic. So, oh, and your higher self is saying, you are in emperor mode. You are an authority. This is a foundational energy. You have bossed up and an emperor doesn't just step into the role, isn't voted in or steps into that role without going through all of the kings of the deck. So you have worked through king of swords, king of wands, king of cups, king of pentacles. And so you've mastered them all to get at this level of emperor. I feel like you have this awareness that there's something about your energy right now where um, things are happening. The emperor doesn't have to go out and, and use fear and worried about things come to the emperor. You're, I feel like the, the big shift here lately has been choosing your happiness, getting in a, a lighter space. There's something about what happened in the past. Um, I feel like you, you've left it behind as best as possible. You've healed and moved forward. However, your higher self wants to let you know that balance and justice is on its way. I think because you did choose happiness, you didn't retaliate. You worked on you and moved out of that energy. And so you are now separate. I'm feeling and seeing your energy being very separate from this person in the past, this breakup and end the energy. Like you're no longer in that energy. And had you had stayed in that, then you would have also been in the energy of the karma that they are going to receive from um, this. But there's equality and balance coming. I feel like you don't even, you're like, whatever, they're in the past and it's none of my business. And, um, but there's something, there's a reason why that's coming forward right now. It feels like, um, feels like it will heal a lot of wounds. Um, people seeing the situation clearly and seeing yourself clearly. I get the feeling that this person um, uh, lied about you and manipulated the truth to suit their agenda and um, people are going to see you really clearly uh, in a favorable light. So your challenge right now is destiny. Your challenge is the wheel of fortune is with you right now. Your challenge is allowing all of these blessings that are on your way to come into your life. Uh, releasing, I'm getting, uh, releasing any resistance to blessings and opportunities and love, really just letting go of any energy that says that you're not worthy. 
and doing some exercises daily, starting your day with, you know, looking at yourself in the mirror would be a good one. It, maybe you have suggestions collective um, that you can share in the comments and we can help each other with what tools do you use to fill your own cup? to, you know, I like looking in the mirror and telling myself how amazing I am and how beautiful I am and um, self-talk, gratitude. Do you journal? Do you, you know, maybe we can help each other with ideas. So, because that is your challenge right now is allowing all these blessings into your space. You look amazing. Your energy. Wow. Let's look at your person's energy. In the past, your person is in the energy of passion ignited. So this is um, it's not cups. It's, oh, wands. Okay. So this is like the ace of wands. So something very, I'm getting, well, let's, let's get some clarification. In the past, in, it, it feels very sexy, but there's also the heart space is open. Um, your person, feels like they were in a, a, another relationship with someone else in the past. Ooh, hello. And, and maybe they met you in the past when they were with someone else. And um, I feel like this was mutual. I feel like both of you, something happened and there was this spark, uh, maybe a spark of recognition in each other. Um, there's someone in your person's energy, maybe this is their ex or who they might still be with this person, but someone who's um, really manipulative um, emotionally controlling. Wait. And your person feels stuck. Your person feels wildly stuck. Interesting that it doesn't feel like they fully enjoy or enjoyed this is the past. Um, where they were and who they're with. And yet somehow they felt very stuck. Maybe it's family obligations or, um, I don't know, it's interesting. Ooh, yeah. Your person was in a relationship or is still, we're still in the past. Um, boy, in a codependent relationship, Feels like your person might be using addictions um, to numb um, where they're at so they're able to stay in this relationship. And they just, they, they, they can't make a decision. At least in the past, they just, there was just this energy again and again, the cards are saying stuck standstill, stalling, indecision, fear of sacrifice. So that's where your person's energy was in the past. In the present, your energy, your person's energy is in for uh, firm foundation. So this is like four of pentacles. Your person's 
very concerned about finances. I feel like your person's ready to, the person, it feels, who are they turning their back on? Either they're turning their back on this connection that you have or turning their back on um, this connection, um, this kind of toxic relationship that they were in. Wow, they're in a mental prison now. So this is the same card that you started with, um, trapped in fear. This is Eight of Swords, it's the same card, different deck. So where you, oh, do you remember where, how it felt in the past when you were in that trapped in fear and how painful that is, that is where your person is now, trapped in a mental prison, trapped in negative thoughts. They feel very victim, victimized. Let's see by what they're, ooh. See, you've got temperance upright right now, and they've got temperance in reverse right now. So there you are, you have found this stability and balance and new growth and you're ready. You're on fire, you're on fuego collective. Um, your person is out of balance, overindulging. Again, I'm getting, um, might be drinking heavily to, to, to deal, not, I'm not judging. It's just the feeling that I'm getting so they can maybe stay. They do still have this passionate um, energy. It does feel like they, they want to come towards you but it, it, feel, it doesn't feel thought out. It feels rushed. It feels, um, it feel, oh, okay. If this is resonating and this sounds right, it feels like they also, so they, they might be using alcohol, some kind of drugs, alcohol to help them stay in this really toxic Space. And if they come to you with um, an offer right now, it is also so they don't have to deal with what's going on. It's so they can escape um, and have maybe a side relationship with you. It is up to you. Um, but if this is resonating, it, it it doesn't feel like they've left this person. It feels like they would come to you as yet another way to not leave this relationship that they've just stalled out in. Um, interesting. All right, their higher self is in the energy of hope. Hope springs eternal. Feel like this is a an offering i mean they it does feel like they are looking at you maybe as an option as a, another way to um make themselves feel better they need to release fears stop repressing emotions and um face their insecurities Their higher self is like, leave, leave that behind, dude, do that. Move on, move on to calmer waters.
move on and keep the hope. Hope keeps coming up because there's, they also have some good fortune on their side. I, it feels like their higher self is even pointing them in your direction or energy that's very vibrationally similar to your energies. Someone who um, I feel like they see you as a star, as um, there's something about you that's you've rejuvenated yourself. You've got the wheel of fortune. They, it feels like they they believe that they could um, reciprocate and join you in that good fortune energy. Their challenge is solar plexus chakra. So solar plexus chakra is your third chakra. It's right below your heart space where your ribs meet. And it's the seat of your own personal power. Their challenge, your person's challenge is finding their own empowerment, finding their own inner strength to trust in the inspiration that they're receiving and to explore their excitement, to be free from this and trust themselves. Because right now where they're at, again, indulgence is coming up and they, they're, they just lack inner joy. And on some level, I think they realize um, what they've been using drugs or alcohol or something, maybe that's overworking, maybe it's a bunch of things to avoid the elephant in the room that this relationship that they're in is, is unsatisfying. I'm being nice. It's really cruddy energy and they're very dissatisfied. I have a feeling they're even talking about it. Maybe they even talk to you about it in so many words about a um, regretting, but feeling stuck in where they are. Shared energies between you and your person is emotional loss. So this is like five of cups, grief. So it feels like you both are grieving. Wow. Um, has it been a while since you've seen each other? It feels like you're both grieving each other. Wow. So there is definitely a, a sexual energy that you both have. You both are very turned on by each other. Yet there's, there's also a, a heart space, a heart connection. It feels like you know each other on a soul level, like you're really comfortable with each other. You're both working on yourself. It's the kind of, um, it, at times it feels exhausting, I think, because you're not in each other's lives right now and haven't been. And I get the feeling that when you were in each other's lives, um, it might have been the highlight for you and you weren't sure if it was, they also felt that same way and I'm getting that they do, they do. I'm feeling like this wild grief that they have 
um, missing this connection, missing your energy, watching you glow up and not being a part of it. You both also share the energy of positive movement forward, eight. So this is eight of pentacles. Um, feels like you both are moving towards what you do want, your own path, your own successful path. You're both independently moving forward. Oh, it doesn't feel like together, um, at least right now. There's a part of you, again, there's more delays. It's not complete. I feel like this is, this is going to stay open, at least right now, this open um, the storyline between the two of you um, is, is on pause right now as you both are working on yourselves and moving forward. There's some energy in hmm. There's a deceptive energy. Oh, okay. They're complicated. I'm up for the challenge. Okay, it feels like if you both were to move towards each other that that somehow if you two were together you one or both of you perceive this as a type of betrayal and deception does that make sense but it it feels very clear that there's some reason it not just that your person is still in a toxic relationship that they're afraid to leave but if you both were free and clear it still feels like you would on some level there's this energy of if we got together it would be deceptive or they're some people would think it's betrayal. So um, maybe it's about your exes, some connection that they have. Um, wow, so much drama. Very exciting though. I wonder if that resonates with some of you. All right, the last shared energy is solitude. So it looks like you're both going within. You're both um, guided. You're both, it feels like you're both wanting to write your own story. It also feels like you both um, long to tell each other how you feel about each other in a very honest way. That you're, you're wanting um, equality and equal give and take. Neither of you wants to be um, a side person. Both of you want to be um, like a, in a committed relationship with each other. Neither of you are looking for um, a relationship that has competition. Um, so your person might think that you are with someone else. Or 
they, they are not looking for um, competition, conflict. And right now it feels like um, neither of you can picture or imagine how this could work in the long term. Yet both of you are, are planning and it feels like both of you are planning and making decisions again, moving forward, moving on, making progress um, in your own lives. And both of you have some level of exhaustion, weariness. Um, it feels like it's taken forever to get where you are right now. Um, it's just taken so long. And so both of you might be a little bit burnt out. And both of you are using your intuition. Maybe I'm getting that um, both of you might be um, connected on a higher place within your intuition. Otherwise, I feel like both of you would have left this connection and been like, yeah, I'm not interested. But there's some kind of telepathy or intuition um, that you both have where you're, you're still in each other's energy, even though you haven't it doesn't feel like you talk to this person or connect with this person other than on an energetic level. So, all right, that's your reading. I hope that it was helpful. Thank you for your likes and comments and shares and follows and all that. Thanks, bye.